remember of this like important tournament for you? And I'm from Slovak Radio. How do you remember? How, what are your memories of the Czechoslovak team and Vladimir Durila? There are nice pictures of you exchanging the jerseys. <coughs> yeah, they, uh, you know we had a great team, and and uh, it took we had to go to overtime to to win the tournament. So the other teams, the Russian was great, the Czechoslovakian was great, and uh, um, it was. Really, it doesn't get any better than this. It was so much fun, especially you win all the time. And uh, yeah, we exchanged uh, jerseys on, on, on the ice. And uh, I got a cute story for you. This jersey, I, I had to wash it about five times. Mm. You know what I mean? I guess they didn't wash it very well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm big on the washing. Is that Zerilla? Yeah, big on the yeah Zerilla. Yeah. 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 Rogi, uh, where, where were you playing and when you met your wife? Where were you? Where were you playing and how did you meet her and how did how did it all? Uh, I was playing in Montreal. Oh, you're for yeah. the Canadians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was playing for the Canadians. Yeah. And actually, it was a blind date. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, so one of the excuse me, one of the French Canadian reporters was a friend with one of my wives. Uh, my wife was a, was a manager of artists, you know, singers like this. Okay. So the the caller so represented one singer that was a friend to the reporter. Okay. okay. So he he told me, he said, well, you know, why don't we bring uh, uh, Nicole over here and then we'll go for dinner after and then. Uh, 45 years. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Back to 76 for a sec. Uh, Don Cherry took credit for telling Sittler about what to do on that goal. Did you tell, you know, in that uh, goal, did you give any tips to any of the players in that game about how to beat Zerone? Uh, no. No. But uh, in those days, uh, we, that's when we really started to watch uh, videos. Right. Mm. And all, it, video was not very popular before in the NHL. Mm. But when the Canada Cup came in, uh, I spent a lot of hours in watching the Russians and the Czechs and see how they play and when they pass, when they shoot. So I think it helped quite a bit. What do you recall about your time with the Kings when they hired Pat Quinn as coach and what was your role back then in hiring Pat? I was, I brought Pat. You did? Yeah, yeah. I, was a, I was a GM at the time. And uh, Pat was a good friend of mine. And we actually started together in Montreal organization, mm -hmm. played in Houston together. And then at that time, he, he had retired and become, he became an attorney, lawyer. So I gave him a call and uh, convinced him to come to Los Angeles. Uh, turned out to good. Yeah. And what did you think of him? Because that was one of his first coaching gigs. Mm -hmm. uh, what did you think of him right away? Obviously, we know that he was a pretty good coach later on in life. But... Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, he had, a, he had a great record in Philadelphia, and, you know. and. Uh, but uh, I needed a coach exactly like him, you know, with discipline and and, uh, and the players looking forward to, to see a guy like this and no nonsense, you know, you do it my way or and when you piss, you had that big fish, yeah. that big <laughs> fish on the table, yeah. Yeah. Wow. everybody listened. But he was also he was also like he he really went to bat for his guys too. Like he would, yeah. you say he's a disciplinarian and, and my way or the highway, but he was also really a, like he was a, a good player's coach. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah like his players. Players love playing yeah, for him. He did, and, he did and protect his players, yeah. but at the same time, uh, they had to give everything they had, otherwise uh, they were in trouble. And yeah, he liked he liked to play the game a certain way. Like he really liked yeah. to play. He, he liked had, the skill game. Like he liked. Yeah, the, he had a, he had, always had his uh, good system, and he wanted to make sure that the whole team played the same same yeah. way. And yeah. he was very successful. Good coach.